Good morning everyone. For a bit of an introduction, I'm Rebecca. I'm a student, master student at the University of Edinburgh uh, doing environment and development. And I'm originally Italian from the land of slow food, I'm from Turin, but I've lived in the UK for five years now. Uh, and in Edinburgh specifically, just for, since September, I was in London before. This is my living room and we have a fantastic, like, huge window. Well, I love to just sit here, enjoy my breakfast, enjoy my morning coffee. A uh, huge collection of plants. We have some new babies here, actually. Planted um, these last week. And look at this. There's some purple sprouts and broccoli, I think, here. Coriander, which hasn't really shown yet. And some salad leaves, but yeah, pretty exciting. Loads of books, loads of cookbooks, <laughs> specifically. So yeah, what I do in the morning um, before starting my dissertation work, uh, usually is checking Slack, which is this communication platform with we use for an organization, well actually two organizations I'm part of. One is called Six Degrees and it's a student-led environmental consultancy. Loads of projects with different clients and one of uh, those that is like closer to my heart, it's, the, it's called Scotland the Bread, which is this fantastic organization from Fife that's just about North Edinburgh. And they basically work to revive local and heritage varieties of grain to make flour, um, to then bake delicious sourdough bread, which really has this cult, strong cultural value as well. And then this other organization I also sort of have to check in with, it's called Project Access and it's not related to food but I'm, it's still very close to my heart because it's about access inequalities to top education and obviously like I feel that I wouldn't be here and I wouldn't have the same sort of uh, interest in what I'm interested in if it wasn't for the education I had. So I'm very, very passionate about allowing as many people as possible to go through the same uh, path as I went through, if they so desire. So yeah, my dissertation is on the true value of specialty coffee and on the specialty coffee supply chain. It's actually Slow Food has recently started the, the, the Coffee Coalition, which has been really interesting. I talked to the guy who sort of directing the project and that's definitely sort of kick-started mine. Um, I'm focusing on the UK and with its relations with producers in Latin America and I've talked to a bunch of them and it's been very very interesting and inspiring. Um, so that's what I'm currently working on. And now it's time for some coffee in my favorite cup which I made myself. I make my coffee in the B60 which is this pour over method. This one in particular is an Ethiopian from Williams and Johnson, which is where I work. So cheers to work. This is my quick and easy lunch. Usually I just use like a grain, a green and some protein. Here we've got some couscous which I mix with some spring onions and parsley and then have some chard and spinach which I fried up and then I have a fried egg topped with some um, chili paste. Uh, and yeah, good to go. Hiya. <laughs> <laughs> what have we got? I don't know, that's what I know. <laughs> yeah, we get this box uh, weekly from a farm outside of Edinburgh called The Free Company. And they, yeah, they farm organically. Yeah, it's a really cool initiative to just get some like local vegetables. Seasonal. And always seasonal, yeah, exactly. And it gets you thinking, you know, like you, there's things in here that you wouldn't normally buy. Oh, a flat peach. Oh, we love that. Nice. One very petite apple. One much larger onion. <laughs> yeah, look in there. Oh, yes, Ooh. that's like summer. Summer, summer in a brown bag. <laughs> yeah, exactly. The thing I love about living in Edinburgh is the fact that you can literally walk it or cycle it everywhere. My friend Eve, <laughs> she's all the way from Bath, um, and yeah, she's she's staying here in Edinburgh for a, a month. I am working with a nonprofit called Food Tank, and we are putting on a, uh, an immersive musical about climate change oh, and the food system. Yeah, um, that's very cool. So yeah, amazing. Yeah, I'm so so stoked. Mm -hmm. And yeah, we're here for dinner at Cafe Saint Honoré. Yes. Yeah. 
and this is our starter, the crowdy, which is this cottage cheese, apples, um, yeah, looks nice. I'm really interested when it comes to food and how much food is political. I'm really passionate about equality in access to food. There are many initiatives in Scotland that try to address this. So basically the Scottish Food Coalition, which is this alliance of several organisations working around sustainable foods, together with North Scotland, has been campaigning for quite a long time to introduce the Good Food Nation Bill, which has like five main principles and the one that I'm particularly um, keen to talk about is the fact that they are um, asking for the right to food to become part of Scots law, which I think would be an incredible progress in terms of equal access to food in Scotland. I also find really inspiring the fact that the government wanted to hear from everyone who had a stakes in the matter um, when it came to designing this food bill um, and therefore run a period of consultation for the public and uh, North Scotland organised a series of talks um, called Kitchen Table Talks um, where different people could come together and discuss these issues um, and sort of come to conclusions by being inspired by other people's opinions uh, and lived experiences.